Hi everyone, we are seeing a deep correction in the stock markets across the globe, across the currencies, across uh, you know cryptocurrencies, across stock market, everywhere, right? There is huge correction. People have lost 70, 80 percentage of the capital holding these kind of stocks. No matter what stocks you own, some of them would have fallen 30 percentage, some of them would have fallen. 70 80 percent some of them even up to 99 percentage and you know this typically happened for especially people who are uh, new to the markets who came to the markets especially in the air time frame of 2019 2020 2021 when the whole world whole world of all kind of assets were going up you know it was a rising tide and which lifted all assets across and you know which lifted even more riskier assets even more right some of them went up four five times ten times 50 times in a matter of six months one year and some of the people were lucky enough to book profits but 99 percentage of people believe me lost their capital why does this happen why do a new generation of young investors who come and comes into the market especially at the peak or near the bull market looking at others making money and then they quit the markets and just run away throwing the tower saying that you know markets are not meant for them why does this happen now well there is a very famous cognitive bias out there which we need to understand to understand this phenomenon it's called Dunning-Kruger effect the Dunning-Kruger effect is a hypothetical cognitive bias which causes people with low ability to think that they have high ability and the other way people with high ability matures enough and understand that they have not so much of ability to succeed. This is especially applicable in the stock markets. People who are new to the markets typically have the beginner's luck. Is You know why? Because they typically enter into the markets when there is peak prices going on. When there is a bull market, most of the people enter into the market and they see quick money and people think that they understand the markets really well they pump in all the capital and then they realize after a few couple of years then when the bull market crashes they lose a 60 70 percent of the capital and don't know what to do at that juncture now this is a very common phenomenon across bull markets generation after generation across countries after countries you see typically when the bull market starts there is a whole new wave of people who come in start the accounts and then start investing they confuse they are luck in the bull market with the skill which is wrong phenomenon right the skill should not be mixed up with the luck and then they realize that you know when the stock market crashes or re when it corrects to the right mean reversion then they realize this is not something like you know they thought to be it's not the ability rather it is the bull market that caused the uh, rising tide which raised all the prices and they made money in the markets now the Dunning-Kruger effect can be overcome how do we overcome this if you want to sustain a long career in the stock markets as an investor it's a Shoshin philosophy as I explained it's a Buddhist principle and a Buddhist principle of Shoshin is nothing but it's called cultivating a beginner's mind Shoshin means beginner's mind it's cultivating a beginner's mind in at all stages in a particular field right at all stages whether you're beginner matured whatever stage you should understand and have a beginner's mind what does this mean as a beginner, Shoshin is a concept from Zen Buddhism, meaning beginner's mind. It refers to having an attitude of openness, eagerness, and a lack of preconceptions. Preconceived notions should be thrown out of our minds. When studying any subject, no matter which, even when studying at an advanced level, just as a beginner would do, we should approach in a way as a beginner would do in any field at any point of time. When in the previous chart we saw in the Dunning-Kruger effect, the confidence peaked at some stage, thinking that we know everything. It should not be the case. In the beginner, as a beginner, if we approach every day, every every day in a field, there is a possibility of continuous improvement over long periods of time. And that's what we exactly want, a continuous improvement every day. And that can happen only when we accept and comes to terms that we start as a beginner every day, thinking that we we know only so much being a continuous learner improving one percentage every day uh, as as uh, explained by you know in the atomic habits books by james clear improve one percentage every day that compounds and creates a uh, huge uh, you know wealth or knowledge or whatever you want to take it as apply the principle of compounding and approach it with a beginner's mind called shoshin just wanted to bring this up thanks for staying with me signing off sandeep Anand.